exclusive contracted novel by Felu Novel Network. Sihiyuan. From apprentice to military industry leader after waking up. Liang Chen discovered that he had actually traveled through time. The world I have traveled through is actually filled with emotions in a courtyard house I also have an extra sister. He knows. In this courtyard like a wolf's nest and tiger's den. He not only needs to protect himself. Also, protect your sister. The future is bumpy. Subsequently. Graduated from university. He was assigned to a military factory. The system awakens accordingly. On the first day of work. The new hand grenade blueprint he casually drew surprised the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Watching Liang Chen so powerful. The people in the small courtyard were also completely frightened. From now on. Liang Chen began to take off. Transform the pistol and directly penetrated a tank. Transform the rifle directly into a Gaussian magnetic cannon. Transforming airplanes surprisingly, it directly became the eternal fortress of the universe. And, Hua Xiao. Under the leadership of Liang Chen. Rising rapidly. Finally becoming the pinnacle of the world. Dragons soar for nine days. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Graduated from university and assigned to the military industry. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Are you the new college student? Our rule here is that since you have just arrived, you can join the new team first. After you have completed your training in the new team, you will be transferred to the elite team. The HR director said with a smile on his face. Liang Chen heard these words. I didn't say much either. He nodded directly. Seeing Liang Chen so articulate. The HR director is even happier now. Very good, very good, young people have consciousness. I will lead you over now and you can get to know your colleagues over there. The HR director breathed a sigh of relief. After speaking. Then take Liang Chen forward. Liang Chen followed directly behind him. Actually. At this moment, Liang Chen had just crossed over. He is adapting to this new world today. Look at everything in front of you. I feel like I'm back in the 1960s. And, it seems like a military factory. When I see these. Next up. Memories of his predecessor flooded into his mind. Originally. The predecessor's name was also Liang Chen. Subsequently. They saw several familiar faces in their minds. He Yuzhu. Su Damao. Jia Dongxu. Qin Huairu. Yi Zhonghai. Lu Haizhong. Yen Bugui. These faces are obviously the people from the courtyard. Subsequently, Liang Chen not only had a bitter smile on his face, he had already realized that he had traveled to the world of the courtyard. And, I live in a small animal courtyard. My predecessor's life in the small courtyard was not very good. Due to the premature death of parents, he is often targeted by the people in the small courtyard. I can only rely on my sister for survival. After all, those beasts are all cowardly and cowardly. My predecessor was often bullied. Looking at these memories. Liang Chen not only gave a bitter smile. It's really a precursor to cowardice. Now. I took over this body myself. So I will never let myself be bullied again. Think of these. His face not only showed a hint of sneer. Make a decision in your heart. We need to take good care of these animals. And today. Liang Chen has just been assigned a job after graduation. The place where he was assigned was the military factory on this side of the 49th city. His position. I am an intern engineer. Just as Liang Chen was thinking about these things. The HR director has taken him to the new department. 
watching Liang Chen remain silent. The HR director smiled. This is your position, and you will work here in the future. If you need anything, you can come to me again, the HR director continued. Liang Chen smiled slightly and nodded, looking very mature. The HR director looked at Liang Chen's expression. Not only was he stunned. I didn't expect this young man to be so calm and composed. And at this moment, the new research group's group walked out. Seeing the enthusiastic greeting from the HR director, I looked at Liang Chen next to me again. Suddenly, a mixed expression appeared on his face. Liang Chen looked at him. I couldn't help but frown. Can you say that? Is there any problem with this? Uncle Zhang, why did you send someone over for me again? I can't control these young masters here anymore, the group leader frowned. It's obvious. He has a headache for the current newcomer group. The HR director also showed a bitter smile on his face. Don't worry, Liang Chen is just an ordinary college student this time. We can't always assign someone who doesn't work for you. We'll find someone to help you with this, explained the HR director. Upon hearing this, the group leader suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. Look at Liang Chen. My face has changed. Smiling and nodding at him. Liang Chen is in a state of confusion. Watching two people playing riddles here. Can you say that? Isn't this research group simple? How does he feel, this is just a pit? But. We have already arrived here. He doesn't have any choice at all. You can only use your scalp to join this group. He actually wants to take a look. What is the situation with this new research group? Okay, Uncle Zhang, I'll thank you this time. Those young masters and daughters. Hey. The group leader sighed again. How does it make people feel like a resentful woman? Liang Chen is not only more vigilant. Director Zhang patted his shoulder. Then. Looking towards Liang Chen. Young man, take a good look, you definitely have a bright future ahead, Director Zhang said to Liang Chen. Liang Chen continued to order. Thank you, Director Zhang, Liang Chen said with a smile. Director Zhang just turned around and left. Liang Chen looked at the group leader. The group leader looked at Liang Chen. My surname is Song, and I am a few years older than you. You can call me Old Song, but your name is Liang Chen, right, said the team leader to Liang Chen. Liang Chen nodded. Hello, Captain Song, Liang Chen said in a formal manner. Now. He hasn't figured out the situation here yet. It's better to be conservative. Leader Song didn't say much either. Nodding again at Liang Chen. Then. He led him to the research room. When Liang Chen arrived at the research laboratory. Watched the situation inside. Not only. The whole person was a bit dumbfounded. At this moment. He finally found out why Captain Song looked like a resentful woman. Chapter 2 The Newcomer Research Group of King Dad, this is. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. When Liang Chen arrived at the research room. Not only that, the whole person was stunned. That's it. In this research institute, there are all a group of older children. These people are about the same age as Liang Chen. Probably all of them have just come out of college. Within a research group. There is no backbone. Are all these inexperienced chicks. Even a fool understands that this is simply impossible to do. And. These people have not conducted further research until now. They just took chairs and sat together casually. Not only do they chat and fart. A few women gathered together in braids. Even those who play chess and poker there. A more exceptional one. I just picked up a radio and listened to the broadcast there. While drinking tea, humming a tune. See these. Liang Chen's face was all black. Turn to look at team leader Song. 
Captain Song, this is. Liang Chen didn't even know what to say. How could there be such a research group? Is this a research group? This is clearly the sheep herding group. These people. I came to the military factory, probably not to work, but to pass the time. Team leader Song not only showed a bitter smile. There's nothing they can do. They're young and don't have much strength, even if they have a mission, they can't complete it. Moreover, most importantly, these people came out of the courtyard, and those senior researchers' temperaments were also bad, so they couldn't get along with each other. So, the leaders of our factory decided to separate them and not expect these young people to do anything, as long as they don't cause trouble for us. Leader Song said weakly. It's very obvious. These young people have a somewhat older background. And they act arrogantly and arrogantly. Some are not easy to manage. And those senior researchers have a strange temper. So. It is inevitable that disputes will arise between both parties. In this situation. In order not to affect the research of the senior colleagues. The factory director simply arranged these young people into a small group. They do whatever they love. As long as it does not affect the research of the senior colleagues. It is precisely for this reason. This new team was born. More specifically. This group should be called the Sheep Herding Group. Liang Chen heard these things. Not only is his face full of bitterness. I don't know what Director Zhang's intention is to assign himself here. Can you say that? In his eyes. Are you just like these young masters? Team leader Song smiled wryly again. There was no further explanation. He looked at everyone and awkwardly coughed a few times. Cough cough, everyone, now the upper authorities have issued a task for us to modify the appearance of the grenade. Let's take some time to deal with it. Leader Song spoke to everyone. Just. These people present didn't even pay attention to him. Even the person listening to the radio seemed a bit impatient. Old Song, these are all small matters, you can handle them yourself, the person said nonchalantly. Look at this situation. Leader Song's face was filled with helplessness. Liang Chen beside him was also somewhat speechless. Except for the person who spoke. The others didn't even react at all. Captain Song had a bitter smile on his face. Look at Liang Chen beside you. Xiao Yang, you can help me, said Captain Song. His words revealed helplessness. It depends on the situation. He has long been familiar with this situation. Liang Chen shook his head. I have already seen it. This new research group. It's just a recharge. However. These people are allowed to play gangsters in the factory. This also made Liang Chen feel a bit surprised. Then I'll help you. Liang Chen didn't refuse either. Looking at Liang Chen. Leader Song nodded. Subsequently, he took Liang Chen to his office. After closing the door, Liang Chen finally felt the tranquility of the whole world again. Here, it's completely different from the outside world. Team leader Song took out the task notice issued above. Handed it to Liang Chen. Until this point, leader Song's face is not very attractive. Liang Chen has some doubts. Captain Song, why are you so worried? Liang Chen asked. Ah. To be honest with you, the upper ups have long been dissatisfied with the new research group, and they have also wanted to withdraw this group. If we don't produce any more results, everyone will be driven home, said Song, the team leader, with a bitter smile. When saying these things, he looked at Liang Chen with some embarrassment. In his opinion, Liang Chen was assigned a job just after graduation, and then he got into this mess. It was my own side that tricked Liang Chen. Liang Chen heard this. Not only was he stunned. It seems that the top doesn't care. But it has already been abandoned above. Looking for an opportunity to drive these people away. 
look at those young men outside. Liang Chen understood in his heart. Even if they are driven away from the military factory, they will soon find jobs elsewhere. Even if you can't find a job, it's not a problem for their parents to support them. But, what about myself? I finally found a job. This matter has been brought up again. If you lose your job, this is really going to make people laugh to death. Even, will be treated as a joke again by those beasts in the courtyard. Liang Chen sighed helplessly. It seems that those young men can't count on it anymore. These tasks. We can only rely on ourselves and team leader Song. Only by completing the task. The group won't back down. I won't lose my job. Just at this moment. A voice suddenly rang out in Liang Chen's mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host, the super development system has been successfully bound. Ding! Congratulations to the host for receiving the newcomer gift pack. Chapter 3 System Rewards, The Blueprint for a New Type of Grenade You are listening at NovelFull.audio Liang Chen listened to the voice in his mind. I immediately understood. This is the standard system for the crosser. I didn't expect the system to come at such a life-saving moment. Liang Chen almost jumped up. Looking at the beginner gift package sent by the system. He didn't hesitate at all. Then choose to open it directly. Open the beginner's gift pack. Liang Chen silently recited in his heart. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully opening the beginner gift pack. Ding! Open the beginner's gift pack to obtain a new type of grenade blueprint, a meat ticket, 3 points for physical fitness, 5 points for intelligence, and 2 points for agility new style grenade blueprint. Liang Chen not only froze for a moment. Even without checking their own system list and displaying the drawings in their minds. Look at the blueprint. Liang Chen not only smiled. Although the blueprint says it's a new style grenade. However, this new style grenade is not simple. It is only described on the drawing. It has already surpassed the most advanced time in the world today. See these. Liang Chen not only breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that this task can be easily completed. Next to it. Leader Song did not notice anything unusual about Liang Chen. He devoted all his energy to the characters. A few grenades were placed in front of him. The grenade with a wooden handle is also the earliest grenade we have. There is also a melon grenade. Barrel-shaped grenade. Triangle grenade. Almost all kinds of grenades. They were all placed in front of team leader Song. Group leader Song frowned. He was thinking of a plan in his mind. In a moment. Unable to make a decision. Just as team leader Song hesitated. Liang Chen extended his finger to a melon-shaped grenade. Captain Song, I feel that this type of grenade will be more popular in the future because it conforms to human mechanics and is compact and easy to carry, Liang Chen said. Hear Liang Chen's words. Team leader Song was stunned. Looking up at him. With a hint of disbelief on his face. Do you understand? Captain Song asked. When I was in school, I read some materials that contained many experts' introductions to grenades. Personally, I believe that this type of grenade is the future trend. Liang Chen smiled slightly. For him. Even if you haven't read the materials. Just from future movies. Liang Chen has long seen what a new type of grenade looks like. This is the trend. So. At this moment. Speaking these words, he appeared very certain. Team leader Song not only froze for a moment. Turned to look at Liang Chen. The future trend. Really. Leader Song was somewhat puzzled. He is still very clear about the grenades in China. The most important thing here is the wooden handle grenade. Find an iron sheet, 
put explosives inside, and then press a wooden handle. The wooden handle grenade is ready. This type of grenade is the most popular in China. Even if decades have passed. Our inventory of this type of grenade has also reached a terrifying level. Of course. The main reason is that these grenades are cheap. It is also convenient to make. From the founding of the country to the present. We have always used this type of wooden handle. Liang Chen unexpectedly proposed to use a melon-shaped grenade at this moment. He also said that this is the future trend. This inevitably surprised team leader Song. I am very certain about this. Previously, when I looked at it in a magazine, we were the only ones still using wooden handle grenades, and we still had the teddy bear. However, the hand grenades on Mao Xiong's side are also being updated and replaced with melon-shaped hand grenades, and the wooden handle hand grenades have gradually been phased out. In my research, wooden handle grenades have many shortcomings. The first point is that their power is too small and their killing power is limited. The second point is that carrying it is a bit inconvenient, as the wooden handle is too large, which can sometimes affect movement. As for the melon-shaped grenade, it is relatively lightweight, easy to carry, and also relatively safe, suitable for individual and special operations. The most important thing is that the melon-shaped grenade has a relatively high power, and with slight improvements, it can achieve unexpected results. Moreover, the world's most powerful anti-tank grenade is not a wooden handle grenade. Liang Chen spoke eloquently. Actually, after seeing the drawings provided by the system, he had already figured out a reason in his heart. Captain Song heard what Liang Chen said. It makes a lot of sense. Not only did he nod. For the development of grenades in the world today. Leader Song also has some understanding. I also know. Anti-tank grenades have also been developed abroad. And. This has become a powerful equipment specifically designed for tanks. It can be said that their position in war is very important. That's precisely why. After hearing what Liang Chen said, Leader Song nodded with great approval. What you said is correct. Our current wooden handle grenade's power is really too small, and indeed, some improvements are needed. This time, the order given above is to manufacture a new type of grenade, completely abandon wooden handle grenades, and let us have our own more powerful and convenient grenades. Leader Song looked at Liang Chen with anticipation in his eyes. It seems that this time. I found a treasure myself. Liang Chen has several brushes. Do you have any good plans? Leader Song continued to ask. My face was filled with anticipation. Liang Chen smiled slightly. Chapter 4 Returning to the courtyard, being mocked by the birds. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ask yourself if you have a plan. The system just gave itself the complete drawings. Liang Chen can be very certain. This new style grenade. Absolutely ahead of any type of grenade in the world today. I do have a plan, I can draw it out. You can take a look first, Liang Chen did not explain too much. Captain Song heard Liang Chen's words. Then he handed him the paper and pen directly and asked him to draw the sketch. Liang Chen didn't hesitate at all. Start drawing according to the blueprint in your mind. It's just a few seconds. Liang Chen has already drawn the blueprint. Look at the blueprint. Team leader Song was stunned. Indeed. Liang Chen painted a melon-shaped grenade. The most important thing. Under this drawing. Surprisingly, Liang Chen even wrote the formula for explosives. And. This explosive formula. Leader Song has never seen it before. Do you think this is black gold explosive, said Captain Song, with a surprised expression on his face. In this era. Our technology here is very backward. Don't mention the most advanced C4 and TNT explosives. 
Even the most common digestive explosives are extremely difficult for us to obtain. Even if we know how to manufacture. If you want to produce. It's not something our current economy can afford. The common people can't even eat enough or wear warm clothes. Who has the money to study this? That's precisely why. Until now. The ones we use the most are also the most primitive wooden handle grenades. Even the explosives used are black powder. Although the quantity is large. But the power is clearly insufficient. Leader Song looked at the blueprint in front of him. I looked at Liang Chen again. How about this? I'll show these old seniors this blueprint, said Captain Song. Liang Chen did not refuse either and nodded casually. I looked at the time. It's time to finish work now. Captain Song, it's already off work now, so I'll leave first, Liang Chen said. Leader Song also checked the time. Take a look outside again. Those young masters and daughters have long disappeared without a trace. Obviously. This is an early run. Seeing this situation. Team leader Song not only showed a bitter smile once again. Okay, you can go back first. Leader Song did not persuade him to stay. Liang Chen smiled. Then, he turned around and left the research institute. Out of the research institute. Walk over a thousand meters. He walked out of the military factory. The military factory is one hour away from the courtyard where I live. If there is a bicycle. It will take about ten minutes to get here. Liang Chen not only missed it. Should I find an opportunity to get a bicycle? However. Before that. What I need to solve is still today's dinner. I looked at the ticket in my hand. Liang Chen couldn't help but feel a bit embarrassed. This year. Material scarcity is extremely severe. Even powerful people cannot eat well. Not to mention that he is just a recent college graduate. Today is still my first day at work. However. I have considered it. Liang Chen still made a decision. I bought two liang of pork and one cabbage. After all. He also has a younger sister at home. I am just seven years old this year. It is precisely when one grows physically. If I were the same as myself. Eating vegetables and swallowing bran all day long. It will definitely affect physical development. So. Even if it's tough. Liang Chen also decided to buy some meat to improve his life. The system also gave itself a meat ticket. We cannot waste it either. I bought the pork. I just returned to the courtyard. The newly arrived courtyard house. Su Dumao looked over with a disdainful expression on his face. Liang Chen, I heard you have a job now. What benefits and how much does it cost per month? Su Damao spoke provocatively. Liang Chen gave a cold smile. I didn't even pay attention to him. Oh, college students have different temperaments, but they are really big. Do you earn 36.5 yuan a month? Su Damao said somewhat boastfully. All along. Others praise Liang Chen as a college student. There is definitely a future ahead. Regarding this. Su Damao had already had a big opinion in his heart. What are you, a college student? Even if you find a job. Is it comfortable to have your own projectionist? It is precisely because my heart is so confident and fearless. Su Damao would provoke Liang Chen every time he saw him. Today. Liang Chen is just good at assigning tasks. Su Damao also heard about it a long time ago. Even on the military factory side. In turn apprentices only earn 25 yuan per month. I simply can't match my own treatment. So. Su Damao only became more arrogant when he saw Liang Chen. Even actively provoking. Why aren't you talking? Aren't college student salaries high? Su Damao continued. The sneer on his face was even more intense. 
Su Damao, how could you say that about Liang Chen? He is still a college student no matter how much he says. He Yuzhu also spoke beside him. He had long been dissatisfied with Liang Chen. Is it amazing that you are a college student? What if you're a college student? Can you be a skilled cook like yourself? Even if you graduate. I went to the military factory. The salary is still not as high as he usuals. Moreover, he usually works in the cafeteria of the factory. Eating and drinking are not a worry. Liang Chen saw the appearance of he Yuzhu and Su Damao. Not only did he roll his eyes. Are you just smiling to show off your grudges? The cooperation is quite good. Liang Chen said angrily. Hear Liang Chen's words. He Yuzhu and Su Damao not only froze for a moment. Two people are enemies who fight against each other. Smile and wipe off the grudges. How could it be? He Yuzhu looked disdainfully at Su Damao. Does he also deserve it? I'm sorry. Say it. Turning around with a gloomy expression, he left. Hey, He Yuzhu, what do you mean? Su Damao was also dissatisfied. What is your expression on He Yuzhu? You are unlucky. I'm still unlucky. Sun Tzu, do you want to be beaten? He Yuzhu said angrily. I'm sorry. Su Damao hesitated. Turning around and leaving in a gloomy manner. Watching Su Damao leave. He Yuzhu has just returned. Before leaving. He looked at Liang Chen provocatively. Liang Chen looked at the two people with a cold smile. Do you still want to target yourself? Are you also compatible? The current self is not the same as before. Liang Chen had already decided to deal with them. Result. I haven't gone to trouble them yet. Are these ignorant things here to provoke themselves? At that time. Humph. You guys are crying. Chapter 5 Sister Beats the Stick, Jia Dongxu. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Liang Chen returned home. I saw my younger sister Liang Jin washing clothes. Brother, you're back. Liang Jin saw Liang Chen and said hello. A sister who emerged out of thin air. Liang Chen's heart is full of mixed flavors. Before he travels. I once had a younger sister. However, later on, my younger sister died in a car accident. Since then. Liang Chen's parents began to feel depressed. Not in a few years. They passed away one after another. This life. Although Liang Chen has no parents. But she has such an extra sister. It can also be considered as making up for the previous regret. He decided in his heart. Make her your own little sister. Xiao Jin, look, what delicious food did brother bring you back? Liang Chen said with a smile. Speaking. He lit up the pork on his hand. Meat. Liang Jin's eyes lit up. For a little girl. I haven't eaten meat for a long time. So. See this meat. The greedy insect suddenly got up. Brother. It seems that the work was quite good today, Liang Jin said with a smile. Give people a feeling. It's even more joyful than the Chinese New Year. It's okay, at least in the future, your brother and I can support both of us, Liang Chen said proudly. Previously. Liang Chen went to college without any income. The two siblings can only rely on the money left by their parents to make a living. Life can be said to be tight. Moreover, it's very bitter. Thanks, you don't have to pay for school. They are two siblings. I have only persisted until now. Liang Jin naturally understood. Children from poor families are early directors. Liang Jin also knew that his brother was living very hard. It's not easy to support oneself. Now. Liang Chen finally has a job. It is equivalent to having sustained income. You don't have to consider using money in the future. 
two people's lives can also be improved. Liang Jin heard his brother's words. Nodding heavily. I am also happy for my brother in my heart. I knew my brother was the most powerful, Liang Jin said. Liang Chen smiled. Brother will make braised pork belly for you. Liang Chen said to Liang Jin. After speaking. Then he walked into the room to cook. Not for a while. A fragrant smell emanated from the Liang family kitchen. The people in the courtyard have already smelled this fragrance. Not only did he take a hard breath. It smells so good, whose family has made delicious food again. What's the taste? Hmm. It's the taste of braised pork belly. It's really delicious. Is it the Liang Chen family? With these family conditions, they still eat meat. Aren't they afraid of running out of money and starving? Grandma, I also want to eat it. We haven't eaten meat for a long time. I can smell this fragrance in the courtyard. Suddenly. Many people are restless. Their craving insects have been hooked up. It has to be said. Although. Everyone outside the courtyard believes that he Yuzhu's cooking skills are the best. But only the people in the small courtyard know. Liang Chen's craftsmanship is not bad either. He Yuzhu is known as the Sichuan cuisine of the palace. And Liang Chen's craftsmanship is closer to Shandong cuisine. For this not very spicy taste. For the people in the small courtyard, it is the most satisfying taste. So. At this time, naturally, he was also salivating. For Liang Chen's craftsmanship. Liang Jin was not only surprised. Brother, when did you become so skilled? After taking a bite, Liang Jin was conquered by this delicious food. If it's delicious, eat more, Liang Chen said affectionately. Liang Jin was not hesitating either. I took a few more bites of meat. Today's meat is only too young. After a few bites, there were only two pieces left. Liang Jin couldn't bear to take action. Brother, why don't you eat? Liang Jin blinked and stared at Liang Chen with big eyes. Although Liang Chen also has some desire to eat. But. This is for you. I have meat to eat every day in the factory, Liang Chen said. Liang Jin was stunned for a moment. Next up. A joyful expression appeared on the face. I'll eat it all, Liang Jin eagerly stuffed all these pieces of meat into his mouth. For her. But I haven't eaten meat for a long time. Especially such delicious braised pork belly. Looking at my younger sister's satisfied expression. Liang Chen's face showed a happy smile. I seem to have seen what my sister used to look like. Hello, good at studying. As long as you can achieve good grades, I will also make delicious food for you. Liang Chen continued with the class. Liang Jin nodded heavily. And at this moment. Suddenly, the sound of smashing the door came from outside. Liang Chen, get out of here. Hear this sound. Liang Chen not only frowned. This is Jia Dongxu's voice. Jia Dongxu came to smash his own door. Still cursing so loudly. This not only made Liang Chen frown. Push open the door. I saw Jia Dongxu standing outside with a watchful eye. He had an angry expression on his face. Liang Chen, your sister did a good thing and even beat up my son at school. Do you want to give me an explanation? Jia Dongxu roared angrily. Staring at Liang Chen with wide eyes. Chapter 6 My sister is right, your son's stubborn mouth. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Liang Chen was not only stunned when he heard these words. He turned his head to look at Liang Jin. Liang Jin also knew that he had made a mistake. I lowered my head in an instant. Liang Chen not only frowned. He knew that his sister could not do such a thing for no reason. Little sister, what's going on? Liang Chen asked. Jia Dongxu, who is outside, 
is reluctant to let go. What else can happen? Of course your sister hit my son, Jia Dong said with anger on his face. Liang Chen replied to him angrily. I didn't ask you, just shut up. Jia Dongxu was stunned. Unexpectedly, there was no response for a moment. Subsequently, he looked at Liang Chen. The anger on his face increased a bit. Liang Chen, what exactly do you mean? Your sister beat up my son, and you still want me to shut up. What are you? Believe it or not, I'll beat you up now. Jia Dongxu jumped and cursed directly. In the past, Liang Chen would never dare to talk to himself like this. Seeing oneself angry, he had already shrunk his neck in fear. The result is now. He actually blamed himself. Don't let yourself speak. Can this be tolerated? Jia Dongxu has decided to handle this matter well. Let Liang Chen pay the price for this. I said, shut up, can't you understand human language? Liang Chen said unhappily. After speaking, Liang Chen continued to look at his sister. Don't be afraid, tell me exactly what the situation is, Liang Chen said gently without a hint of anger. Liang Jin bit his lip. Finally speaking up. Because the meme said I didn't have parents and was a wild child, I couldn't help but beat him up, Liang Jin said with a look of grievance on his face. She also knew she had done it wrong. But. Whose child is so vicious? Surprisingly using these words to curse people. Liang Chen frowned. His face turned very ugly. Turn to look at Jia Dongxu. What else do you want to say? Liang Chen's tone became even worse. Jia Dongxu was stunned for a moment. I looked at Liang Jin. I looked at Liang Chen again. I didn't wait for him to react. Jia Zhang walked out with a stick. See you soon. Bang Ji was beaten and his nose and face were swollen. Even there are countless scratches on the face. It's like a pig's head. It's a bit unbearable. He is even a little older than Sister Liang. Result. Unexpectedly, he was beaten into this shape by Liang Jin. This not only made Liang Chen feel a bit surprised. Bang Ji is still crying there. Dad, Grandma, it's him who hit me. You want to avenge me, Bang Ji cried. If you want to say how pitiful it is, just say how pitiful it is. Jia Dongxu was even less angry. Staring intently at Liang Chen. What's wrong with my son scolding you a few times? Are they wrong? You just don't have parents. Look at what your sister did to my son. If you don't give me an explanation, I can't finish telling you about this. Liang Chen, even though you're a college student, I'm telling you, you can't be tough. If you don't give me an explanation, believe it or not, I'll beat you up, and you'll definitely be even worse off than my son. Jia Dongxu gritted his teeth fiercely. He doesn't believe it. I can't handle Liang Chen and Liang Jin on my own. Hear the commotion here. The others in the courtyard also pushed open the door. See the situation here. Not many people showed signs of schadenfreude. Oh ha! Is this a college student going to be beaten? Su Damao said unhappily. Even, there was some anticipation in the tone. Don't you, if you need any help, you can come to me. I've seen that you're a bad guy for a long time. You're just a college student. What's so good about you? You've been thinking you're some big shot all day. He Yuzhu also stood up. He was scolded by Liang Chen just now. I am feeling unhappy in my heart. At this point. Seeing this scene. I am already a bit eager to try. Pack up a college student. In He Yuzhu's opinion, it is definitely easy and enjoyable. Xiao Liang, what's wrong with this? Look at what you've done with the stick stem. It's probably not going to take several days for the swelling to subside. Yi Zhonghai also stood up. Look at this meme. He not only felt a little heartbroken. 
for Yi Zhonghai. But I want the Jia family to take care of me. Nature. He is standing on Jia Dongxiu's side. The other two gentlemen also stood up. I looked at Liang Chen. I looked at Jia Zhang and Bang Ji again. They still chose to stand on the side of the Jia family. After all, such things happen frequently. They also naturally know how to stand. Liang Chen, it's not a big deal for children to fight. You can compensate for your medical expenses and apologize for it. If the meme is beaten like this, you must make a statement. Otherwise, this matter cannot be easily exposed. Lu Haizhong and Yan Bugui also stepped forward. They looked at the stick meme. Regardless of whether it is red or white. He began to pressure Liang Chen. Look at these people in the courtyard. Liang Jin's heart was filled with worries. I'm even about to cry. Liang Chen embraced her in his arms. Looking up at these animals in the courtyard. I said, my sister is right about this, she is just right. No matter what you say, Bang Ji was beaten because of his cheap mouth, it's just right. Even in the face of coercion from the entire hospital. Liang Chen did not flinch at all. He cursed back at them fiercely. This actually stunned the people in the small courtyard. In their impression. Liang Chinka has never been like this before. Jia Dongxu was angry. He raised his fist and hit me, Liang Chen, this is what you brought for yourself. Chapter 7 Animals in the small courtyard assault Liang Chen, Liang Chen. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Even if Jia Dongxu starts taking action now, the crowd watching the excitement around did not show any intention of blocking it. Even. These people are also somewhat gloating. Let them take a look. Liang Chen is a college student, much more noble than his own identity. So. They had long been displeased with Liang Chen in their hearts. This is clearly jealousy. That's precisely why. These people will constantly bully Liang Chen and Liang Jin. Watching Jia Dongxu take action. This has no intention of blocking. They just want to see Liang Chen's misfortune. He Yuzhu is next to him. Even with a sneer. Yi Zhonghai also smiled bitterly and shook his head. The current situation. Developed into this state. In Yi Zhonghai's view, this was all brought up by Liang Chen himself. Liang Jin saw these. He opened his mouth wide in fear. But he couldn't say a word. Liang Chen naturally saw the reactions of the people around him. Not only did he show a cold smile on his face. Subsequently. The body is flying fast. Directly dodged Jia Dongxu's fist. Next up. Not waiting for Jia Dongxu to respond. He kicked out with a single kick. Bang. Jia Dongxu had no chance to dodge at all. He was kicked out directly. Accompanied by this kick. Everyone around was also stunned. His face was filled with disbelief as he opened his mouth wide. Looking at Liang Chen. His eyes were filled with astonishment. They even couldn't believe what they saw. In the past. Liang Chen definitely doesn't have such courage. Don't talk too much. Even when facing bullying from others, I dare not retaliate with even a few words. Today. What kind of wind did he have? Jia Dongxu is also foolish. Looking at Liang Chen with a face full of disbelief. This guy not only dodged his own fist. And he even kicked himself. Although. The force of this kick is not very strong. Just kicked Jia Dongxu into the crowd. Immediately after, he was supported by He Yuzhu. But. He feels ashamed. I am in a courtyard. Even if it's not the master in charge. That is also a prominent figure. How have you ever been so angry? Suddenly. Jia Dongxu was angry. Then he charged towards Liang Chen again. He raised his fist without hesitation. 
the power of this fist is even greater than before. Liang Chen saw these. Not only did he furrow his brow slightly. I already showed mercy with this kick just now. You, Jia Dongxu, are ignorant of good and evil. Surprisingly, you dare to rush over. Then don't blame yourself for being impolite. The word Liang Chen shows no mercy. Watching Jia Dongxu rush over. He also raised his fist. I haven't waited for Jia Dongxu's fist to strike yet. Liang Chen's fist hit him in the face. Puff. This punch is not powerful enough. Jia Dongxu vomited blood directly and fell to the ground. His younger brother He Yuzhu's eyes instantly became anxious. Liang Chen, dare you? He Yuzhu steps forward. Directly approached Liang Chen. Tightly clenched his fist. It looks like. This is ready to take action at any time. Liang Chen looked at him. Still without any fear. Liang Chen, it's not right for you to hit someone about this, Yi Zhonghai frowned. Look at Jia Dongxu with a mouth full of blood. Take a look at Liang Chen standing there again. Yi Zhonghai decided to use his identity as an uncle to handle this matter. Of course. His trump card is to rely on having more people in his hands. He glanced at the bangs and then at Yen Bugui. Second Grandpa, Third Grandpa, Liang Chen is challenging the authority of our courtyard. Since he is so arrogant and even injured someone with his own hands, let's not be lenient. Yi Zhonghai was not foolish enough. The meaning of what he said is very obvious. Lu Haizhong and Yen Bugui heard this. Although somewhat reluctant. After all. This matter is just a conflict between Liang Chen and Jia Dongxu. They didn't originally want to get involved. But. At this moment. Yi Zhonghai spoke up. After all, he is a master of the small courtyard. In order to be able to dominate in the small courtyard. The three masters are all standing on the same front. That's precisely why. They also know that they have to take action at this time. The two of them gave their son a glance. The six brothers of the Lu and Yen families, upon seeing their father's expression, did not hesitate to step forward. Suddenly. The brothers of these two families, along with He Yuzhu, make a total of seven people. So they surrounded Liang Chen. Liang Jin was so scared that he almost cried when he saw this situation. Brother, I was wrong. I apologize to him and don't let them bully us, the little girl said in a crying voice. Liang Chen heard his sister's words. Not only does it feel like a needle has been pierced in my heart. It's very uncomfortable. Are these old men still shameless? Gang up and bully a seven-year-old girl. Think of it here. Even if the other party is large and powerful. Liang Chen took a deep breath. A resolute expression appeared on his face. There is no hint of retreat. Do you want more people to bully less people? How impressive. Liang Chen gave a cold smile. Don't listen to his instigation, just go ahead and beat him up, let him know the rules of our courtyard. Yi Zhonghai said angrily. With the opening of Yi Zhonghai, a few people surrounded Liang Chen. Especially He Yuzhu. With a sneer on his face. He can't wait to beat Liang Chen hard. The one who beat up is you, a college student. I have been displeased with you for a long time. Result. Just as they raised their fists and were about to strike. Suddenly, the sound of a small car came from outside. Next up. A row of fully armed soldiers rushed into the courtyard. What are you doing? Are you lawless? Stop it. Next up. A roar echoed in everyone's ears. Chapter 8 Superiors come to the courtyard, unexpectedly for. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sudden changes. Everyone present was stunned. The people rushing to the courtyard are all fully armed soldiers. When have ordinary people seen such a scene? 
on the spot. The crowd was so frightened that they dared not gasp for breath. Especially he Yuzhu and his brothers from both families were dumbfounded. Look at these warriors. Their faces showed a look of fear. Not only did he turn his head to look at Yi Zhonghai. Grandpa, what are they here for? He Yuzhu asked softly. Where did Yi Zhonghai know? He looked at the bangs. A hesitant expression appeared on Lu Haizhong's face. But. He also understood that the other party was putting on such a big posture. The identity and status of the newcomer are definitely not low. If I could leave a good impression on him. But it will be of great help to one's future career. That's precisely why. Lu Haizhong first waved his hand to his son. I left the three brothers behind and then withdrew. He obediently hid in the crowd. Lu Haizhong walked forward. Then, I saw a person in the shape of an old professor walking out. The professor frowned as he looked at the situation in the small courtyard. What are you doing here? The old professor said angrily. It's nothing, it's just some friction between neighbors, Lu Haizhong quickly said. The old professor frowned. I wonder if I can look at him. Lu Haizhong quickly continued to ask. This leader, I don't know why you came to our courtyard. Lu Haizhong said with a smile. The old professor just explained his purpose of coming here. Liang Chen, is it in your small courtyard? said the old professor. As soon as this sentence is spoken. Everyone present was stunned. They looked at the old professor incredulously. I can't believe what I've heard. Take a look at Liang Chen again. He is just a college student. Can you say that? College students are now precious. Can such a powerful leader come and find him? Everyone's heart is filled with doubts. However, their hearts are more filled with fear. Jia Dongxu was completely dumbfounded. I looked at the old professor. I looked at Liang Chen again. I'm really afraid that the old professor will order these soldiers to bump themselves later. The next moment. Jia Dongxu's legs are weak. He fell directly to the ground. He Yuzhu is also a bit dumbfounded. A look of panic appeared on the face. Looking towards Yi Zhonghai. Yi Zhonghai was also stunned. The corners of my mouth couldn't help but twitch. The bangs were first stunned. I quickly realized it. Xiao Liang, the leader is here to find you. Hurry up and come out. Lu Haizhong put on an elder-like demeanor. Liang Chen rolled his eyes and didn't want to talk to him at all. He looked at the old professor. He also furrowed his brow slightly. Look at the posture. You can know that this old professor's identity is definitely not low. He actually came to find himself in person. What the hell is this? The old professor became extremely excited when he saw Liang Chen. Young man, are you Liang Chen? said the old professor. Liang Chen nodded. Are you available now? I have something to ask you. The old professor didn't hesitate at all and directly stated his purpose of coming. Liang Chen heard these things. I am even more puzzled. However. He didn't say much either. If you have anything you want to ask, just say it, Liang Chen said. Faced with such a high dot ranking leader. He also knows that he has no chance to refuse at all. The old professor looked at Liang Chen. I looked around again. Let's talk in the car, the old professor said. Liang Chen nodded and followed out of the courtyard. After seeing Liang Chen leave the courtyard, Jia Dongxu panicked. Looking towards Yi Zhonghai. Grandpa, what's going on here? Why did Liang Chen know such a powerful leader? He wouldn't sue us, would he? What should we do if this leader stood up for him? Jia Dongxu really panicked. When saying these things. Even some words are incoherent. He Yuzhu is also a bit worried. He looked at Yi Zhonghai. I want Yi Zhonghai to give me an idea. 
Yi Zhonghai has never seen such a scene before. Ma Dan. How can he be virtuous and capable? You can see armed soldiers in formation. There are often situations like this. That's all big scenes. Don't worry, I don't think Liang Chen would do such a thing, Yi Zhonghai said with a bitter smile. When he said these words, I can't believe it in my heart. At this point, he saw Liang Jin next to him. Yi Zhonghai quickly changed his expression. Xiao Jin, we were just having fun with your brother. You need to help us say a few words later to avoid misunderstandings, Yi Zhonghai quickly spoke up. At this moment, he has transformed into a strange uncle who looks like he's kidnapping a child. Everyone around looked at Yi Zhonghai's appearance, not only with embarrassment on their faces. However, look around at these warriors. And the sedan parked outside. Everyone couldn't laugh anymore. Liang Jin, we have always been good to your family. This matter has nothing to do with us. It's all Jia Dongxiu, the one who suffered a thousand dollars, who is causing trouble for you. Xiao Jin, your business will be mine in the future. If you need any help, just feel free to ask. I didn't expect your brother to be really amazing. College students are just different. They know such a great leader, it's really bringing glory to our courtyard. Xiao Jin, I believe that in the future, you will definitely be as powerful as your brother. Surrounding people. At this moment. I also changed my face directly. Ignoring previous love. It has become constantly pleasing now. Liang Jin looked at them with a disdainful pout on his face. I didn't even listen to what they were saying. At this moment. She is most worried about her brother. Such a powerful leader came to find his brother. She doesn't think it must be a good thing. Chapter 9 Youth of China, You Are Our Ancestor You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Under various speculations from everyone. Liang Chen and the old professor arrived in the car. At this moment, Liang Chen has guessed the intention of the old professor coming to find him. Maybe it's because of the Grenade blueprint. After Liang Chen got into the car, he didn't take the initiative to speak up. The old professor looked at him and smiled. My surname is Wang. In the future, you can call me Lao Wang. The old professor first introduced himself. Liang Chen nodded when he heard this. Hello Professor Wang, he then greeted the old professor. Professor Wang looked at Liang Chen. His face was filled with emotion. The young people in front of me are probably in their early twenties. I didn't expect it. For oneself. I have studied things that have not been broken through for many years. Surprisingly, it was easily solved by this young man. I want to ask, where does the formula for your explosive come from? Professor Wang looked at Liang Chen with a serious expression on his face. Upon hearing these words, Liang Chen not only smiled slightly. If I say, this is what I summarized from those foreign magazines, do you believe it? Liang Chen said with some deliberate probing. Professor Wang was not only stunned when he heard these words. He looked up at Liang Chen. I couldn't grasp it for a moment. What exactly does he mean? However, looking at Liang Chen, Professor Wang couldn't think of any other way. It seems that we can only agree with Liang Chen's statement. After all, there are many advanced foreign magazines in universities. Maybe you can find the formula for these explosives from those magazines. Professor Wang smiled on his face, looking at Liang Chen with some relief. Really? Professor Wang asked tentatively. That. Was it made up by myself? Liang Chen looked helpless and pursed his lips. Professor Wang was not only stunned. Looking at Liang Chen. Then he burst out laughing. He serves as an expert. But it's very clear. The birth of new explosives was not so easy. Thousands of years ago. 
we have black powder. Thousands of years later. Finally, we have nitrate explosives. Now, more than half a century has passed. Under the efforts of countless people. Only then did we finally have TNT and hysogen. This is already the world's most advanced explosive. And the formula is also tightly controlled by foreign countries. Even me. We have put in a lot of effort. Through various means. Finally obtained the formula for TNT. But they couldn't even get the recipe for Hesperidin. The new explosive formula provided by Liang Chen this time. Professor Wang has already found someone to experiment. The power definitely exceeds that of TNT explosives. That's precisely why. Professor Wang, as a top scientist. I just ran over here all night to find Liang Chen. I never expected that we in China would be able to produce talents like you. It's really amazing. Do you know how amazing your explosive formula is? The power of this explosive has surpassed that of traditional TNT, and it feels almost the same as the power of Black Sox gene. The foreign power's relentless control of these technologies, without revealing any details to us, has seriously affected our development and research in explosives. Back then, the earliest black gunpowder was invented by us, but now it has been surpassed by those great powers, even using these technologies to blackmail us. Thinking about these, I feel no anger in my heart. I really want to develop stronger explosives and hit them hard in the face. I didn't expect that today, my old man's wish was fulfilled by you. You will be our hero in China. Professor Wang spoke excitedly. Liang Chen was not only stunned. Is it so remarkable to know that a new type of gunpowder has emerged? Of course. One thing Liang Chen is still unclear about is. We can now study rocket satellites. The fuel for rockets is the use of the latest gunpowder. It is precisely because of the lack of modern gunpowder. This also hinders our rocket technology. Resulting in the rocket satellite not reaching the sky for a long time. So. Professor Wang saw the new type of gunpowder compensation provided by Liang Chen. That's why I'm so excited. With these. It can help us achieve breakthroughs in many fields. Not just aerospace. Even the most ordinary hand grenades, bullets, shells. It is also closely related to new explosives. Liang Chen watched Professor Wang so excited. Instead, he was stunned for a moment. Next up. He also put away his cynical expression. This is nothing, I don't even know if this recipe can be used, I just wrote it casually. Liang Chen looked a bit embarrassed. At the beginning. He thought Professor Wang would challenge himself. Result. Under this conversation. Liang Chen understood. The other party not only did not challenge themselves. I am also extremely grateful for developing a new type of explosive for myself. This inevitably gave Liang Chen a new understanding of the older generation of scientists. These people only think about scientific research, as well as the motherland and the people. They won't think about those scheming things. This forms a sharp contrast with the beasts in the small courtyard. Faced with such noble and selfless qualities. Liang Chen also showed great respect to Professor Wang. Such a noble senior. I must also respect myself. As a Chinese, with the blood flowing from the scorching yellow, I feel that doing these things is just right. Liang Chen continued, his face full of determination. Looking at Liang Chen's appearance. Professor Wang was not only stunned. Next up. He smiled contentedly. If we were in China. Can there be more people like Liang Chen? Why don't we worry about not revitalizing, why don't we worry about not rising? He also understands. No matter how hard one tries. The future of our motherland always lies in the hands of these young people. A strong youth makes a strong country. Youth is wise, then the country is wise. If the youth progress, 
the country will progress. If a young man is strong on earth, then a country is strong on earth. The Youth of China You are the future of our motherland. Chapter 10 Sister Grandma Zhang, Bang Gung deserves to be. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Young man, your consciousness is very good. If you need any help, just speak up, Professor Wang said as he looked at Liang Chen with a relieved expression on his face. Liang Chen was able to say such things. It already represents that he loves his country from the bottom of his heart. This is also the most precious quality of young people. This also made Professor Wang place greater importance on Liang Chen. I heard Professor Wang's words. Liang Chen also understood his meaning. This is when I saw myself being targeted by everyone in the courtyard. He wants to stand out for himself. With Professor Wang's identity and status. It's easy to tidy up these beasts in the small courtyard. But. Liang Chen also understands. Even if Professor Wang can easily clean up these people. It is also inevitable that it will have a negative impact on him. Say it again. Dealing with these beasts. Only by doing it oneself can one feel the most satisfying. Liang Chen naturally wouldn't expect Professor Wang and us to help him. Professor Wang, I will handle this matter myself. There's no need for you to take action, it's just some unscrupulous landlords. What's there to be afraid of? Liang Chen said confidently. Professor Wang heard this. Not only that, I looked at Liang Chen. Finally, I nodded. Although. Professor Wang attaches great importance to Liang Chen. I don't want him to be bullied. However. He is still clear about it. For such private matters. Liang Chen spoke up. Professor Wang still won't take the initiative. Okay, but if you need any help, just feel free to speak up. This is my phone number. Professor Wang handed over a business card. Thank you Professor Wang. Liang Chen took the business card over. Subsequently. Professor Wang did not stop either. He called on the soldiers under his command not to board the car. I left directly. Liang Chen watched Professor Wang leave. Not only is my heart filled with emotion. Travel can have such a scale. This proves the status of Professor Wang. Even in the Academy of Sciences. Professor Wang is definitely a very important scientist. And. His major is still in explosives. It is even more crucial. So. It is also enough to see the high status of Professor Wang. Being able to be promoted to such a big shot. Put it in someone else's words. Absolutely flattered. But Liang Chen. He appeared very calm. I didn't want to climb Professor Wang's high branch. He believes in himself. With the help of the system. Even without the support of others. I can also achieve brilliant results myself. It can also make significant contributions to the construction of the motherland. Think of it here. Liang Chen smiled. Turn around and look towards the courtyard. In the small courtyard. These people were already frightened by the scene before them. When looking at Liang Chen again. You no longer have the feeling of superiority you had before. I no longer dare to look down on Liang Chen at times. The most awkward thing is still Yi Zhonghai. Today these. He definitely hit him hard in the face. Even so. Yi Zhonghai still struggled to squeeze out a smile. Liang Chen, I didn't expect you to be so amazing. When did you meet such a powerful figure? Why didn't you tell us earlier? It would have prepared us for it, so we wouldn't be as impolite as we are now. Yi Zhonghai wanted to make up for the loss. What he looks like now. There is no more arrogance at all. Just now, he was definitely the person who wanted to deal with Liang Chen the most. Now, he is definitely the one with the brightest smile. Liang Chen, you are really amazing. You just got to know such a great leader at work. 
what are you doing in the factory? Lu Haizhong also asked. As an official fan in the bangs. After seeing that Liang Chen has such good resources. He decisively abandoned the small courtyard beasts. Start pleasing Liang Chen directly. Look at this. Just like a lapdog licking its face. Xiao Yang, when you become prosperous in the future, you still need to remember the neighbors in our small courtyard. Although there were some neighborhood conflicts in the past, these were all small things. Far relatives are not as good as neighbors. Our big men are also half of your elders. As you grow up, I naturally hope that you can have a better future. Yen Bugue changed his attitude and said with a pleasing expression on his face. Not only the three gentlemen. Even other people began to show goodwill towards Liang Chen. In a moment. He became the center of the small courtyard. Jia Dongxu next to him saw these. That's sour. I'm going to crush all my teeth. Jia Zhang looked at her son and then at Liang Chen. I'm not feeling well now. Yo ha, you're really unlucky. Tell yourself, what ability do you have to make such a powerful leader take notice of you? Liang Chen, don't think that if the leader comes to see you, you are really amazing. You are amazing, and you have become just like the leader. Cut, with a pig nose inserted in a scallion, do you really think you're an elephant? Without a leader to help you, you're nothing. Jia Zhang spoke sourly. Liang Jin couldn't help it anymore. Direct station. Grandma Zhang, I finally understand why Bang Ji's mouth is so cheap. It turns out he learned from you and deserves to be beaten. Everyone. Ah. Hear Liang Jin's words. Everyone present unexpectedly felt a sense of agreement in their hearts. Take a look at Jia Zhang's current situation. No matter how annoying it is, there is no denying it. After all, many others have also been messed with by Jia Zhang. Take a look at the stick that was beaten into a pig's head. Everyone not only chuckled in their hearts. Your mouth is so cheap. You deserve to be beaten. Why suddenly? Everyone felt a slight sense of satisfaction. Jia Zhang wanted to curse a few more words. Seeing the reactions of the people around me. Her face turned black instantly. A face full of embarrassment. In a moment. I can't say a word anymore.